Hey guys, got a pretty easy one here today. We're going to change the thermostat on a 2012 Mitsubishi Lancer. It's got the Mivic engine and it is a 2.4 liter. If you're interested, this uh, thermostat came from Napa. That's the part number for it. You can see it is a 2.4. The gasket's on the outside of it here. Already installed. Now we'll go ahead and start taking this apart. So I'm going to undo this uh, clamp here. Unplug this. We'll get this away from the airbox. I'll just squeeze this one off as well. Get that out of the way. Take the airbox out of the way. And we're already there. The thermostat's behind the housing here, so now we'll just uh, go ahead and take this off. And there's another bolt on the bottom that we can't see, but we can definitely feel it. Okay, so these thermostat housing bolts are 12 millimeter. There's one. Now I do have a catch pan underneath the motor to catch my antifreeze. I probably won't reuse it. So now we'll go ahead and take the bottom bolt out. All right, so just to get a bit more room, I'm gonna take off the shift cable here. It's somewhat in the way, but it is a 12 mil, and we'll be sure to put it on in the exact same spot that we took it off. So we'll go ahead and take that off now. Okay, here's our nut for the shift cable. Just to move our cable out of the way, we're gonna push in on these little tabs. There's one on each side. There, now we'll push it back. And that's it. Slide it up. Just tuck it in there. get the bottom bolt out I just put a little swivel on this 12 mil just because of the angle it's on but it worked great so I'll just uh, once it's cracked you can thread them out by hand now that the two bolts are out we'll just put a little pry bar in here and crack our housing lost a little bit of antifreeze not much which is good now we'll Pop our thermostat out. Stick our new one in. And it goes in this way. It probably won't let you put it in the other way, but in case it does, don't do that. We've got our new thermostat in. It's sitting flush. Go ahead and put our housing back up to it. Now here's the old one. I don't really see much wrong with it. However, it was acting up intermittently. Some days it uh, just wouldn't let any heat through at all. It doesn't look bad, but we're going to change it anyway. There must have been something wrong with it. So now, We'll go ahead and throw in our top bolt. Snug it up by hand. You can see where the nut was sitting and that's exactly where we want to put it back in place. Otherwise, the selector won't line up with the gears and uh, it may not go into park when you put it in park. Line that up exactly where the nut came off and that's pretty easy to do. It's just something you want to make sure you do.
All right, our linkage is done back up exactly where it was. I used a 12 mil wrench just to be a little more precise rather than use a socket. Having to jump around because it's not an easy spot. So now we'll just go ahead and put our air filter housing back in. So we can put our giant air filter in first. Set it in there like that. This has clips on the bottom that just go into grooves. And that's it. Air filter housing installed. We just have to put our intake boot on. And not to forget our electrical connection, otherwise that would cause a engine code. And that's it. Done. Thermostat complete. It's just that easy. Anyone of you can do it. So there you go. Hope this helped you. Maybe have the confidence to do it on your own. Keep you out of those expensive repair shops. I know what they're like. I used to work in one. But anyway, hope you enjoyed it. And we'll uh, talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.